Hi everyone, Yan here from Yan C Art. Yeah. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are having a collaboration for the World AIDS Day. 11 artists in total. Um, you will most likely already have seen um, Jessica from Winterstromart and Sarah Taylor. Um, and I am next and so happy that you're here. Uh, hope that you will be staying until the end. We have a lineup of some very amazing artists. Um, Gina's after me, and then Nate will be on, and after Nate will be Britta, then Kathleen, and then Brian, and Garrick, and Karen, and Sarah Mack. So please stay, stay till the end. I will be showing you this piece that I made yesterday. Um, it dried really nice. I am in love with it. Um, but yeah, that's the one that I'll be showing. And um, as you already hopefully know, we have this collaboration for, for raising awareness for the AIDS and HIV um, pandemic, I guess, um, which is still going strong, unfortunately since when did it start 86 i think um but yeah i'll be saying a little more about it in the video and uh, i will not be wasting too much of your time here so happy to have you here and uh, i will show you how i did this painting have a great day bye So first I'll be going through the colors. Um, the first one here is the Artist Loft Soft Body Black. I'm using that for both the base coat and the cell activator. This red one is Amsterdam Pyrol Red. And the next one is Artessa's Bordeaux Red, the delicious Bordeaux Red. One of Sarah Mac's absolute favorites. The next one is also an Amsterdam. That is Carmine. And then there's a Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And that is the um, um, iridescent red blue, sorry. And to symbolize the poison that HIV is, Amsterdam yellowish green. And then there's the Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold which I also use for cell activator. So the first cell activator I'm using is, all of them are of course mixed with Australian Floatrol. Um, the Artist Loft Soft Body Black is thicker. So that is mixed for a three to one. The 24 karat gold is the mix two to one. And the red one that just popped up magically here uh, is again the Pyro Red and that is also mixed two to one. So it's a little thicker than I have normally done but um, it seems to keep the lacing more tight if you will so just adding some base coat here I decided to go for a split coat and um, it worked out really great it's my first the first time that I've actually tried a split uh, base coat so not the last time for sure uh, about the, the cost that we are um, Honoring, if you will, today is um, the fight against HIV and AIDS. Um, so it's World AIDS Day today, the 1st of December. And um, it is a very needed um, reminder for everyone that AIDS, unfortunately, is still very much uh, happening uh, to people. People are still dying from AIDS. A total of uh, 650,000 this just, let me go back, this is the AIDS bow, of course, uh, just decided to put that in there as well. But yeah, get back to the statistics. Uh, last year alone, 650,000 people died from AIDS, unfortunately. And since it started in 30, 35 years ago, um, 78 million people have become infected and 35 million have died from AIDS-related illnesses. That is staggering and it is, 
yeah, it's just heartbreaking, uh, really is. Um, so any, the, uh, the I will donate this painting that I'm doing to um, any sort of organization. I will put the the link to the organization in my my description below. And uh, if anyone wants to buy this painting, then um, the the money will go to that organization. Uh, we still need as many do donations as possible because it is an uphill fight, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so very happy to be part of this collaboration. It is a collaboration that we started last year. Nick, um, Dominic Shell got several of us together. I don't remember how many we were, I think around eight last year and this year we are 11 sadly nick was not able to participate himself this year but he will be back strong next year i'm certain so uh, but uh, thanks to him for actually putting this together and um yeah it's a very worthy cause and i'm very happy that we have people that um, volunteered to to join this collaboration Sadly, um, it turns out that because of the COVID uh, pandemic, um, new data shows that uh, the global HIV response uh, during the last two years of COVID-19 and other global crisis, uh, progress against the HIV pandemic has faltered, resources have shrunk and millions of lives are at risk as a result. Also, the war in Ukraine, uh, which is something that most people probably won't, don't think about. Um, they estimate, I think it's, uh, is it around roughly 250,000 people that are, that are living with HIV in Ukraine. Um, they, all of a sudden now, since the war began, are having problems getting their medicine, um, which of course can be fatal because uh, if you're not taking your medicine regularly, then um, the virus will start attacking the body again. So a lot of things have been put in place in, in order to try to get um, to, to provide people with the medicine in Ukraine. But, but yeah, something that kind of surprised me, I guess I didn't think about it, one thing that is important to say is that, and that's also, I really recommend that people educate themselves on HIV and AIDS. Um, if you're undetectable when you're HIV positive, you're actually untransmittable, or it is untransmittable, meaning that you cannot transmit HIV to your partners if you are undetectable, which the my medicine um, does for you once you're being uh, once you're in treatment, um, your viral load will be undetectable. And that means that you cannot transmit HIV to other people, which is very important. It's a great, I mean, compared to the very slow start and the fatal and heartbreaking disaster of the AIDS epidemic in um, the late 80s and early 90s, um, a lot of Things have happened, positive things, of course, but a lot more needs to happen. The goal for on AIDS is on AIDS.org is that uh, we should be AIDS free in the world in 2030. It is a great goal, I think. Is it achievable? I don't know. To be honest with you, I sadly doubt it because that's, let's face it, it's in seven years. So, um, but fingers crossed that things happen. Um, this is a very hard and deep topic to be discussing. I think that I will leave it at this. Um, do go, do educate yourself, do go to onaids.org and uh, read uh, everything there or, or of course uh, find other um, organizations that, that will will also um, tell you about the, the HIV epidemic. Um, but yeah, I do recommend that you read about it and, and um, get educated. And thank you again to all the other artists that uh, agreed to participate in this uh, 
important collaboration. We will be doing it um, next year as well, definitely. And like, like I said, hopefully Nick will be back strong next year. And um, so, but I, yeah, I think that I'll stop talking about the AIDS epidemic and just focus on the painting here. You will have seen that I have swiped. I swiped on the black side of the canvas. I swiped with red and gold cell activators. And on the red part of the canvas, I swiped with black and gold. And I've been adding some little enhancements here and there. Um, and I must say that I really love this piece. It came out incredible um, I'm hoping that someone will be wanting to buy it like I said I think I did mention it if not uh, if I did then I apologize for doing it again but it can't be said too often I guess so um, the proceeds from this uh, from the sale will go to on aids.org uh, sorry if to an, an AIDS organization um, I will put the link in my description so that you can go check them out as well um, um, so yeah, if you are interested in this piece, please let me know and, um, I'll donate the money to, um, to that AIDS organization. Um, apart from that, um, I am just, uh, noodling with this, um, just making sure that everything looks the way that I think. I will say that uh, here are the wet results and I will just stop talking for a little bit. So I forgot to film the wet results. So as you can see, it has already begun drying, but here it is and there's a lot of glare. came out the green that I put in you don't see it much but it's there very subtle love that I don't know if I can show you. Where is this some green? There. Wait. There. Oh. Ah, it's too close. Yeah. I'll show you when it's dry. And I am back live here. Um. Yeah. Here comes the dried results. Please go check out Gina's um, channel now after me and uh, the rest of, of the awesome artists that are in this collaboration. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you're interested in buying the piece and um, you have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas. Bye.